Hi everyone, welcome to Angel Faith channel. For today's video, I'm going to share to you guys what are the list of the requirements of Form I-864 or Affidavit of Support and how to write a cover letter. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the format of my cover letter. You feel free to copy it, just replace it with your information. Before anything else, for your information, all the personal information that we are going to use in this letter is from our husband who is our petitioner or sponsor for our affidavit of support. Let me read the cover letter for you. Name of the husband or the petitioner, address of the husband, contact number of the husband, date when we wrote this letter, United States of Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Citizenship and Immig Immigration Services, Attention FBAS 131 South Dearborn, 3rd Floor, Chicago, Illinois 60603, Five five one seven. So this is the address where I send my application. For your information, the addresses that we are going to use, it depends on our preferred courier. Check the description box for the addresses information. I use the ad this address because I send mine in FedEx. Re affidavit of support or I eight six four to whom it may concern. Herewith are the following supporting documents for the affidavit of support I eight six four for my wife. Please put the full name of your wife over here for your reference. Here are the list of the requirements for form I eight six four or affidavit of support. Number 1. Completed form I-864 with signature and date. Please include all the pages of this form and fill it up with your personal information and also make sure that the form is not expired and that you download the form from USCIS website. This is the sample form. Number two, copies of the following financial documents. Submit a three years recent of your tax return transcript and a three years recent of your form W-2. Some of you are wondering why mine here is year 2019. It's because I submit my application last year 2020. This is the sample of a tax return transcript and a W-2. Number three, copies of your respective passport by a page, both husband and wife. You can use a colored or a black and white. This is the sample. Number four, birth certificate of the petitioner, photocopy only. Here is the sample. Number five, driver's license of the petitioner, colored or black and white, copy only. This is the sample. Scanned copies of form and documents submitted are exact copies of unaltered documents, and I understand that I may be submitting original copies of documents to an immigration or consular officer when requested. Sincerely, name of the petitioner and the signature. So those are the list of the requirements of Form I-864 or Affidavit of Support and the cover letter. Happy to help you. That's all for today's video, guys. If you have more questions, just comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please do like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Have a good day, everyone. Keep safe and God bless us all.